Well, it's another Sunday and I'm out doing another apiary uh, roundabout, just looking for progress. Things have sure advanced over this last week. Uh, I'm seeing tremendous growth now. Uh, we're approaching the second hatch and these hives are, especially the big ones, are just starting to explode. Uh, we haven't gone through the whole apiary yet on our equalizing round. We've got to get that done. Um, probably another two days at that. And then we have to get into these nukes. Uh, we got to get them transferred over. Uh, these bigger ones are getting too big. Um, and we don't want them to think about swarming yet. Uh, this next hatch will put them into that state. So we got to get this done like Wednesday at the latest. And yeah. Then the split. Then we got to take off those salvage hives on top and reestablish them into yards. So we got a lot of work to do. Uh, we're going to start grafting on Tuesday. So that means tomorrow. We're going to pull out some breeder queens and set up some builders. Our yards start, you know, they're growing. As, with this rain, the grass is growing. Our yards need to be mowed. Um, we have a lot of stuff to do. Uh, the farm's busy with seeding, and we're going to haul cattle out, like, right away. Uh, so those guys are scrambling. We have a lot of fencing to do. So we're going to be pulled for labor resource and all fronts right now. So I want to show you... Um, just a little bit of what I'm seeing. I'm in one of my nuke yards and I've taken my smaller nukes, like my salvage, just like I did with my single hives, and I topped them up on top of a stronger unit to boost that, that weaker unit um, and just to bring it above threshold so it can grow again. And I just want to see, show you what I'm seeing. So here in my nuke yard, uh, what I did is the same as my singles. These uh, bottom units here, this was a box full of bees and I put a weaker colony on top. Now these guys probably had a frame or frame and a half of bees. So what I did is I merged the two uh, through newspaper and kept the queen separate with the excluder. Um, and these two units merged together so the strength moved up into the top and helped promote a larger nest up in my salvage unit, I call them. So I just wanna show you what's inside. Okay, so I'm just gonna dig through the top body So as you can see, this box is right full of bees now. Just gonna take a look to see what's going on. I don't have my smoker going, but the bees seem to be in a fantastic mood. Always helps to uh, have a pollen flow to make your bees a lot happier. Here's a frame full of nectar. We have dandelions out right now. A frame full of honey. It's really nice. Working on the foundation on this side. And these are yeah, nice hatch of young bees, as I can tell. It's all kind of hanging out of the foundation, drawing the wax out. So a nice pollen flow or a nice nectar flow going on to promote uh, wax. This frame is absolutely packed. You can't, I don't know if you can see that. Absolutely packed full of larvae. Nectar rimming the outside. No pollen in this frame. Here's some pollen here. Absolutely packed full of larvae. Nice, beautiful frame. Beautiful frame of brood. Big frame of brood. Little ways to hatch yet. Filling up with honey and nectar. I gotta make some space by the looks of it. Second frame of brood. <laughs> 
two frames of cat brood and a frame of open larvae. And another cap frame. These guys are about as big as my singles now. Look at that beautiful queen. Just a gorgeous little girl. Just oblivious to us here. And she, there she is laying. Another time. They, these guys don't even know we're in this hive. So I think I've seen all I have to see. Um, I'm going to uh, plan to get these nukes transferred midweek, no later than that. We got to get these boxes transferred over. We have to get these guys. We have to give these guys more space. Um, so I'm going to get back to work. I'm going to head back up to some uh, mature yards and continue on with equalizing. We've got to get that job done and we got to move on to these other projects because these hives are advancing and before we know it we're going to be so far behind and we got to get our, all of our work done before any uh, any hints of swarming starts so it's amazing how these hives have progressed within the last three weeks this is absolutely amazing you get one hatch you get on to your second hatch and these hives you get all the resources coming in from from outside. We have all these fruit trees almost like they're blooming at once. And there is, seems like there is, this is the time of year when there seems like there's no stopping that hive moving forward. This is when we got to make these. This is the time that we can make very effective high quality queens. Um, these hives are just in growth mode. That's, that's what they want to do. So we got to use that instinct that drive to our advantage and make as many units as we possibly can so over the next three weeks the next you know right into the middle of june we're going to be so focused on making splits um, and making nukes and making queens to head those units uh, we're going to try to exploit this massive drive of growth and take advantage of all those resources out right now so it's time to get to work Uh, this is when my larger units tip back and I'm just blowing the bees from the bottom bars. And as you can see here, you're just starting to think about making queen cells. It's forming some cups. So now time is of the essence. We need to get busy. <laughs> 